darling. Oh, bye. Oh, listen, uh, before you go, could you let me have some money? Sure. How much do you want? Well, about thirty pounds. I've got the plumber coming. What well, for lunch? <laughs> no, to mend this tap. That is quite unnecessary. Now look, it's been dripping for weeks. That is only a new washer. That's all it needs. I can fix it now. Oh no, no, darling, you'll be late. Listen, I can afford to be late if it's going to save me thirty quid. Oh please don't. I am not going to pay someone for doing something that I can do. Yeah, I know. But the last time you changed the washer, you flooded the kitchen. That was because I didn't know where the stopcock was. Now I do. Where is it, then? I don't want any of your trick questions. <laughs> you don't know, do Yes, you? I do. Yes, I do. It's under the sink. No. That's yes, the main. There's the stopcock. All right, Clever Dick. You have a go, then. Oh, lucky for you. I've been to classes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now... Which way shall I turn it? How about off? No, I know that. I know that. It's upside down. I can't work it out. Clockwise. Cl it, well, is that towards me or away from me? That's from the left to the right. Left to, to right. That is your left and that is your right. All right. I'm not stupid, you know. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Uh, you won't go either way. It's rusted up. I knew I'd have to do it. Move out the way. Oh. Done it? No. Well, mind your suit. Bloody thing. And your language. <laughs> it's no good. I can't get a purchase on it. Hand me my tools, oh, will you? No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you won't go easy. Hammer. Spanner. <laughs> now, don't break the spanner. Daff! Now what? It's snapped off. Oh, no. I warned you. Not the spanner. The tap. Oh, I think you better leave me a check as well. Oh. 3294, yes? Uh, Margaret here. Margaret? Uh, Margaret Richardson in Devon. Oh, Margaret. Well, how lovely to hear from you. Emma's in laws. Oh, no. Um, how are you? Absolutely tip top. Look, we're driving up to London today. Henry's got his annual trek up with the doctor, and we thought we might pop in and see you. Fine. When? Well, what about this evening? We could all have dinner together. Well, yes, only we'd like that very much. And I don't do anything special. We'll take potluck. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Um, I'll, I'll just find out if William's got anything <coughs> planned. Uh, could you hold on? Uh, darling, uh, Henry and Margaret are coming to dinner this evening. Is that all right? <laughs> No, he's nodding, yes. Uh, yes, um, where are you staying? Well, we couldn't get in anywhere. London's so full these days. Are there any hotels in barns? I mean, it could be quite a small one. Well, we don't want to spend too much money. We're only up for one night. Well, don't bother with a hotel, then stay with us. What? I hear you. Did you say something? Uh, no, no, that was William saying what fun. <laughs> Well, we should be up by 7.30, all depending on the traffic and on Henry's driving. He's getting worse, you know. Oh, he couldn't be. I beg your pardon. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I think I heard the pips. Oh, right, right. Chin, chin. Uh, bye. Why did you ask them to stay? Well, it's easier than finding them a hotel, and it, it is only for one night. They're so boring. I oh, know. He was in timber, wasn't he? Yeah. He's as thick as two planks. <laughs> Why are they coming up anyway? Well, Henry's going for a checkup. Oh, I suppose it's to see if there's any blood left in his alcohol stream. <laughs> well, you must have got a strong wrist. Oh, no, it wasn't me, actually. It was my husband. Well, see then, a weightlifter. <laughs> no, no, he's an accountant. Well, he must be as strong as an ox. No, he, he did it with a hammer, actually. A hammer? Yes, he, he put the spanner on the tap and then he hit it with a hammer. <laughs> Bit simple, is he? Certainly not. No, he's very clever. Yeah, a real genius. Look, this whole section will have to be renewed now. Well, is that very difficult? No, we'll just turn your mains off and you're tanking a loft. Oh, and can you get it finished by tonight? I've got people coming to stay. Well, depends if we get any snags. Yeah, Jim, I'll just have a look at that tank. Oh, yeah? No, it's not cardboard. I suppose you could put your finger through it. <laughs> I did. How long have you had that tank, missus? Well, it's been here since we moved in, about 20 years ago. Yeah, must have been on its last knockings then. Look, 
Could you please just mend that stopcock and we will discuss the rest at a later date? Oh, please yourself. But can you swim? <laughs> So you see, darling, it wasn't just a question of mending the tap. They had to do one or two other little things as well. Like what? Why don't you have a drink? <laughs> I don't know whether I can afford a drink. Now, what's happened? Well, they were very nice plumbers. I mean, you couldn't have asked for nicer plumbers. They worked right through the day. In fact, I had to make them stop for lunch. And they just made do with a little pate and beer, and one of them had some cheese. Never mind the menu. Now, what have they done? Hmm. They fitted a new tank. A new tank? <laughs> Darling, the old one was just a heap of rust. You've been conned, you know that? No, honestly. It just fell to pieces as they took it out. So, you see, your little accident was somewhat of a blessing. Uh -huh. <laughs> How much is this blessing going to cost me? <laughs> Do you want it item by item? No, I'd rather have it neat. <laughs> 95 pounds. <laughs> 95 pounds? Well, it's jolly decent of them to keep it under three figures. Yes. Plus labour. <laughs> and VAT. Sorry, we're so late, William. It couldn't matter less, Margaret. Do come in. It's the new orbital route. Henry got onto it by mistake and we've finished up in Watford. Oh. <laughs> what bad luck. Yeah, you know, once you're in Watford, it isn't easy to get out. Is he still there? What? <laughs> Henry. No, he's bringing in the cases. Oh. Henry! Oh, hello, Henry. Nice to see you. Yes. Uh, you go in with Margaret. I'll look after these. Oh. Follow me, Henry. Hester. Margaret. Oh, Hester, my dear. I won't begin to tell you about the journey. It was a nightmare. Oh, never mind. You're here now. Lord knows how. Henry's hopeless. <laughs> you remember my mother? Of course I do. How are you, Naomi? Nancy. <laughs> oh, forgive me. Of course, Nancy. <laughs> Henry will tell you I'm not very good with names. She's not very good with names. <laughs> well, how are you keeping, Henry? Not badly, considering. Not badly, considering. <laughs> you remember Hester's mother, don't you, dear? Ah, yes. How nice to see you again, Naomi. <laughs> Get them a drink, will you, darling? Right, Margaret, what will you have? Gin and tonic. Gin and tonic. Gin and tonic. Henry? Scotch and soda. Uh, scotch and soda. Scotch and soda. <laughs> right. 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 Uh, do sit down. <laughs> Henry, sit. Yes, dear. <laughs> yes, well, it's, it's very hard to believe that we've become grandparents since we last met. Yes, yes, and Guy is such a splendid baby. Very advanced for 18 months. Oh, yes, isn't he? And exactly the image of Henry. Oh, no. <laughs> as soon as I saw him, I said, Henry. Yes, dear? <laughs> no, dear, we're talking about Peter's baby. Ah, yes. Your drink, Margaret. Oh, thank you. Henry? Ah, yes, thank you. Chin, chin. Cheers. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. They named Guy after your husband, I believe. Yes, rather insensitively, I thought. Oh. Have you seen him lately? Oh, it's just the same. Oh. <laughs> Any sign of a reconciliation? Oh, hardly. Not after 40 years. Well, <laughs> well it's early days. <laughs> yes, well, luckily, they're still very good friends. You look very young to have been married for 40 years. No, dear, they've been divorced 40 years. <laughs> oh, well. No wonder she looks so young. <laughs> and, um... What do you think of your great-grandson, Naomi? It's Nancy. Oh. Can you tell at 18 months? <laughs> Let me give you a hand, dear. Oh, no, it's all right, Mother. I can manage. Oh, I know you can. I just wanted a little breather. <gasps> oh, they're heavy going, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they don't come any heavier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm knackered! <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Darling, you can't leave them in there on their own. I can, you know. <laughs> Mother, would you go back, please? Only on one condition. What? Give me a brandy first. <laughs> You're on. Oh. 
Here we go. <laughs> Can you go into battle now? Definitely. <laughs> oh, Geronimo! <laughs> Henry. Yes, dear? Wake up. Yes, dear. And for heaven's sake, do try once and for all to remember Nancy's name. Yes, dear. What is it? <laughs> Truth. Coffee's on its way. Ah, now, where are you going to sit, Ruth? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to have kept you. And you must be so tired after that long journey. Oh, no, we're real night birds. We can go on till the small hours. Good God, can it? <laughs> so when we were in Kuala Lumpur, every night was party night. Now we're in Devon, it's frightfully boring. You invite your neighbours to dinner. Henry tells them what a fascinating time he's had in timber. Teak, mahogany, grey satin ash. And by midnight, they've all gone. <laughs> well, I find that hard to believe. <laughs> a boring lot. I remember you had some very nice neighbours. Oh, yes, the Barretts. Yes, we were only saying on the way up. We've made a fatal mistake settling down in the heart of the country. We'd be much better off in barns. Oh, no, no, definitely not. not. <laughs> <laughs> really? The uh, noise and the traffic, you oh, know. Oh, yes, and burglaries. Yes, and riots. Oh, yeah. I don't remember hearing anything about riots in barns. Well, they, they hush it up, mm. you know, but it is getting very dicey. We had a lot of unrest in Malaysia at one time. The rebels used to creep through the jungle and hide behind the trees. Until you put a stop to it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> chopped them all down. <laughs> <laughs> Teak, mahogany, grey satin ash. <laughs> I'll tell you a very curious thing about grey satin ash. Not now, Henry. Oh, very well. Uh, remind me to tell you at breakfast. Yes, yes. Well, that'll be something to look forward to. <laughs> I won't be awake at breakfast time unless I go to bed now. Will you excuse me? Um, must you go? Yes, I, I must. I'm great. Good, uh, good night, Mother. Good night, Margaret. Good night, my dear. Good night. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow, Ruth. Yes. <laughs> And you, Wally. She's a charming lady, but uh, getting a bit vague. What makes you think so? She forgot to drink her coffee. Do you want some more? No, thank you. I want to dive out before they appear. <laughs> Too late. In here, Margaret. Ah, records. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Oh, like a log, didn't we, Henry? Like a log. Tea or mahogany? <laughs> a tea, please. Oh. <laughs> Henry, sit. Yes, dear. Well, I'm afraid I have to dash off now. <laughs> Lovely seeing you both again. But Thank I've you. got a little surprise for you. Oh? Yes, well, Henry's appointment isn't until late this afternoon. I'm not going to have him driving back to the country in the dark, so uh, we can stay with you for another night. That's awful. What? That's really, really awful, yeah. because we, we won't be here. You won't? No, we won't. No, 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 we, we, we've got a business dinner. Oh, well, well, what time will you be back? Oh, I've got no idea, really. It's uh, miles away. Mm, on the coast. <laughs> Whereabouts? Bournemouth. East Bournemouth. East Bournemouth. <laughs> uh, Bournemouth. Mm. Yes, we've, uh, we've booked in at a small hotel. Mm. Pity you didn't let us know yes. sooner. <laughs> Worry not. <laughs> Henry and I know the ropes. We shan't be too unhappy to stay here on our own. At least we'll see you don't get burgled. <laughs> so that solves that. Yes, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> I just thought I'd pop over and say goodbye to you both. Oh, a little premature, actually. We're staying one more night. You're not. They are. There's <laughs> one more night. Yes, you see, uh, Hester and William won't be here. They're off to East Bournemouth. And we're holding the fort. Why don't you join us? Oh, uh, um, I'm afraid I can't. No, 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 she's coming to Bournemouth with us. <laughs> oh, what a pity. Well, she doesn't get out much these days. We, we like to take her on these little jaunts. Oh, they spoil me, you know. <laughs> and so they should, Naomi. <laughs> uh, I mean, Nelly. <laughs> Have you got rid of the dreaded in-laws? Shh, no, they're still here. 
What's more, they're going to stay another night. Oh, you poor thing. What are you going to do with them? Well, they're just going to have to stay here on their own. We're going to push off to a hotel in Bournemouth. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't have to go that far, surely. <laughs> no, we're really staying nearby. Why didn't you come to us? Oh, Sonny, that's a nice idea, but, you know, we have to drive out of here tonight with three suitcases and Nancy. Well, that's all right. Just keep motoring round till it gets dark, then come back and spend the night at our place. Oh, no, Sonny, really, we couldn't impose on you like that. Listen, if ever the day comes when I needed to ask you for something, I wouldn't hesitate. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> We'll let you know the next time we're coming up. You will give us plenty of warning, won't you? Oh, we will. Good. <laughs> bye. 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 Is it? Yours! Oh, uh, right. <laughs> oh, oh, I've got four kings, two, three, four clubs, I'm out! That's Jim. Yeah, I know. We're playing whist. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Shall I go? No deal again, I'll go. Can I? Can I deal? Stay long. Shut the door, Henry. You're letting the cold air in. Yes, yeah. Would you mind waiting for a second? I'll just tell my husband the good news. I expect he'd like to tidy up. <laughs> They're coming in. Well, couldn't you stop them? No. What the hell are we going to do? We can go out through the French window. Yes. I'm not crawling about in the dark. Well, you can't squat there for two hours, can no, you? No, certainly not. You oh, go well, first. Quick, you go first. I'll take, I'll take Nancy. Go oh, oh, I know. Trip over all quick. those notes. Oh, it's oh. going now. It's locked. It's oh. locked this way. <laughs> what a lovely surprise. Uh, won't you sit down and make yourselves at home? Yes, make yourselves at home. Thank you. We always try to see as many friends as we can when we come to town. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find it a little stuffy in here? No, just beautifully warm. <laughs> well, I always like to air the room when guests arrive. Oh, please don't do it on our account. It's a bit stiff, darling. Would you open it for me, please? I'll do my best. Mystery tours of barns are very overrated. Can't we go back now? It's 11 o'clock. A bit risky. They could talk till all hours. Oh, never mind about them. I want to get back to my bed. I'm worn out. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Oh, dummy. What? Well, we all go back to the granny house and kip down there. What happens in the morning? 
I just lie low till they're gone. Oh, what a tangled web we weave. <laughs> I'll just put the kettle on, Henry. Yes, dear. I'll do the cocoa, you do the bottles. Yes, dear. Henry! Yes, dear? There's someone flashing in the granny house. <laughs> no, don't look. No, you fool, a torch. What? Great Scott, it's burglars. Oh, oh well, we'll have their guts for garters. Oh. Come on, Henry, grab something. Quick, quick. <laughs> there, Mother. Oh. And you're going to manage on this, darling. Yes, thank you, Miss Nightingale. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel like a refugee. Yes. Who's there? Oh, oh what the hell, oh, sir? Oh. Would you believe it? Voice down. Oh. Listen, they're not going to go away, you know. Well, let them in before they break the door down. Well, what shall we say to them? Well, never mind. I don't know. But, but well, here it is. Back me up. Uh. It's, it's all right. It's all right. It's only us. <laughs> oh! Oh! Why aren't you all in Eastbourne, Mr. We, uh, we never got there. We never got there? No. Mother was feeling unwell, so we turned back. We turned back. <laughs> What's the matter with her? Well, it could be flu. There's a lot of it about. A lot of it about. You sound just like Henry. I sound just like Henry. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it has been a very long night. Uh, do you think we should all go to bed now? Well, I'm wide awake. Would you like me to sit with you for a bit, Nancy? No, thank you. I just want to be left in peace. Peace, peace. <laughs> peace. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, darling. Oh, boy, listen, aren't you going to wait and say goodbye to them? No, no, no. You tell them I had to dash to London Airport to meet some people. Look, if I tell one more lie, I'm going to be struck by a thunderbolt. <laughs> that tap's still dripping. Uh, yes, yes, I'll, I'll get the plumbers back. Oh, you won't. I'm not paying someone twice to do the same job. <laughs> He just hasn't screwed it tight enough, that's please all. Please don't, darling. Do it tonight, huh? Listen, we won't be here tonight. We're going out. Are we? Yep. To celebrate our newfound freedom. Oh, lovely. Good morning, my dears. <laughs> Hello, Margaret. <laughs> How are you? Absolutely tip-top. Henry's a bit under the weather. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm, I think he's got Nancy's bug. Well, that's impossible. Uh, but <laughs> fairly impossible. He said he didn't want any breakfast. Good Lord. Well, what about that long drive back to Devon? Oh, don't worry. He's very resilient. He'll be down in two or three days. Days? days? <laughs>